Hello everyone, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to fuse your OpenCV and your PID controller and mush it together so you have a robot that can be able to just track a cone. So let's get into it. Okay, so basically, um, just copy and paste this camera fuse PID.java. So what it is, is I literally took the OpenCV code, I pasted it into here, and then I just took the static heading and I just took anything that has to do with PID and I paste it in here. So the most important things that I changed and you have to know is first, there's this FOV variable. I'll show you how to calculate your FOV. This is very important. Um, uh, next, we have the math.2 radians. So this is basically calculating the exact angle we need to get to. And I'll show you that. So down here, we have this get angle target. Using this formula, we're able to actually figure out the angle and I'll show you right here. Okay, here's a little diagram of what we what this formula represents. So this is the uh, sorry, this is the object midpoint right here in the blue. Uh, it just takes whatever the middle horizontal of the object is and brings it to the exact middle of whatever the camera resolution width is. And then we're gonna multiply the FOV. What is FOV? This is the FOV. It is this theta from point A to point B. So the min to the max of how far it can see in terms of angle. And then the camera width. So using this derived formula, we should be able to determine the exact angle. Let me erase a couple of things. The exact angle from the midpoint to the object. So, and that's what we're calculating. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to calculate your FOV. So the first thing you're gonna do is take a cone and you're gonna go onto the FTC dashboard and load an op mode that tells you one, the IMU, current IMU angle, and two, it shows the camera feed. So let's say you just put it at the end. So the, the camera, you should barely see a pixel of this. And then what you're gonna do is read the current IMU angle, turn it, until the cone is fully on the right side of the camera and you can barely see it and then read the IMU angle so for this robot it was roughly about 40 degrees and that is how you calculate FOV I'll leave more resources in the description below on how to calculate FOV so I ran the code on the robot and let's see if this works okay so as you can see, the robot is slowly tracking the cone pretty well, might you think. However, the moment I increase the speed, it begins to oscillate like crazy. So how can we fix this? Well, if you look at the link in the description, there's going to be this documentation that shows how to fix these problems. And one of these, the problem that we're having right now is called oscillation. So how can we reduce oscillation? Well, the documentation says we should increase KD, I'm just going to do 0 0.03 and decrease KD. So I'm going to try this again and let's see the result. Okay, now let's see what happens. You notice that when I move it a lot faster, the oscillations are a lot less and a lot less extreme. And the robot will be is actually able to converge to the cone. Just like that. So obviously these um, uh, values aren't perfect and I hope you guys just get a good understanding on how to implement this onto your own robot. I hope you guys tag me when you guys do your, uh, if you guys watched this tutorial and you found it useful and you create your own version of this, please tag me in the robot showcase. I'd love to see uh, the people that have helped and to see like how far you guys are able to take this and how much better you guys are at tuning PID values than me. Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I had a lot of fun making this tutorial. So please, if you guys enjoyed it and you guys found it useful, like and subscribe. Otherwise, I'm not get kicked off my team. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and until next time, see ya.